Uh, Brandon has the uh, easiest job. I have the hardest one because after this, it's you know evening activities. So um, you know this is gonna be hard. Um, uh, but I, in fact, the funny part is, is I actually have the easiest talk in the world because um, I'm David Ronchek. I helped found the Kubeflow project, but I basically do nothing. All these people are doing the stuff that makes Kubeflow great. We're just kind of wiring it together. Um, you know. Everyone hears about ML, it's changing the world, it's changing the dynamics, uh, eating everything. Uh, but the problem is, is that most of the world is like this. There's magical AI goodness on one side and everyone else is on the other side and in between there's just uh, lots of pain. Uh, and the biggest reason that there is this split between these two um, you know, opportunities to go out and get all this great uh, stuff um, and, uh, and where people are today is because uh, people have been writing these incredibly bespoke solutions for ML um, that you know, are not composable, they're hard to swap out the pieces that make sense to you uh, or maybe your organization has a change. They're hard to be portable, meaning uh, move from your laptop to your training rig, to your on-prem, to cloud number one, to cloud number two, wherever the data is. Uh, and then finally, it's hard to scale. So you might be able to get it running on a single machine, but then to go and do that uh, just like OpenAI did on 2,500 machines uh, is very, very challenging. Um, to, to dive into each of those very briefly, um, you know, around the composability, uh, you know, people think about ML as just being this model. Um, but in fact, that's not what it is at all. It's, it's all these other things that end up being around it. And those other things are the things that, that people, great companies and projects have solved. Again, like the folks up here. Um, Pachyderm is doing the data analysis portion. Uh, Jupyter is doing the interactive uh, research. Uh, Selden doing uh, great serving and other tooling. Um, and, and today, it's very hard to tie all those components together. Um, Similarly, portability, once you get your uh, stack up and running on top of Kubernetes, uh, it may be made up of this many layers or more. And when I talk about that pipeline earlier, that may just be that top portion, let alone everything that's below it. And then you go to your training rig and it's something completely different. And then you go to your cloud and it's something completely different again. And you're uh, hit uh, over and over and over again with the various, um, uh, you know, reset up and, and differences between those environments. Uh, and then finally, scalability. Um, you know, I mentioned already scaling via nodes. Uh, that is one type of scalability. There are other scales. There's um, how do you scale the number of experiments that you run? How do you scale your teams? How do you scale your data? All these various things. Um, those components are, are, are involved in scalability as well. So, um, you know, uh, containers and Kubernetes are pretty good at solving this, but um, the problem is, is that you end up having to become an expert in a whole bunch of things as it stands today, uh, which is not great. So uh, that's why we introduced Kubeflow. How can we make this overall system much easier for you? Um, and our mission here, and I say it over and over again, make it easy for everyone to learn, deploy, and manage portable distributed ML on Kubernetes. That is not us as part of the Kubeflow project writing all this stuff. This is packaging and helping other projects make their services available in a standard-based way so that you can swap in and out, so that you can scale them, so that you can move them from place to place. Um, you know, around that portability component, the way to think about it is that bottom section becomes all Kubernetes. That's the abstraction layer there. And then the section over on the other side becomes Kubeflow, and you're able to stamp out that Kubeflow in every location that you have. Uh, today, in the box, um, and, uh, you know, on Friday, don't tell anyone, but we'll be announcing that we've cut our 0.1 release, um, which we're very proud of. Uh, <laughs> thank you. But um, specifically in the box today, we have Jupyter, we have TensorFlow, we have Argo for workloads, we have Selden Core in the box. Um, uh, Daniel uh, uh, is very, working very hard on a Pachyderm proposal that we're very excited about. Uh, we have Reverse Proxy via Ambassador, uh, and we'll be talking about all the sorts of things we have. Uh, for out of that overall s uh, section up there, uh, it's basically these components uh, already have an option in the box, uh, but you can use many more. Um, and we are really are just getting started. This is a very small subset of the people who are helping out today. Um, and we're really excited. You know, the, this is, uh, I, I happen to be from Kubernetes from, I don't know, day negative 10. 
Uh, and uh, it really feels like that again. I, you know, there were so many, when we first got Kubernetes up and running, there were so many container solutions, so many orchestration solutions. Uh, everyone was just looking for something to rally around, um, and that's what Kubernetes provided. Kubeflow feels very, very similar. It, it feels like there's so much activity, and everyone just wants a place, a community, uh, to come together and rally together and, and form this vision of what we all think is right in the world, um, and that's what we're trying to do. So uh, thank you very much.